छोटी डम्बू नट लूज वही वाला वेल दिस आर सम ऑफ द नेम्स दैट बुलीज कॉल योर विक्टम्स Perhaps some of you have been called such names in your lives, or worse still, if some of you have called others these names all in the name of fun. A very good morning to the honourable judges, ladies and gentlemen. Today I will be talking to you about bullying. Did you hear that Malaysia was ranked sixth in the world for having the most number of school bullying cases? Well, I mean, other than the occasional grainy video of a school bullying incident that gets widely circulated online, I mean, there's hardly any footage of such incidents. Why? Why is it then that any of us would not expect Malaysia to fall under the top ten for having the most number of school bullying cases? Is it because we are under the assumption? that our school discipline systems are tough enough to sniff any bullies nip any potential ones in the bud why is it then that bullying still persists in our society why it is because you can't tell a bully from how he or she looks like i'm currently dressed like how people would think a bully would be dressed like but does that make me a bully or does that just make me look thuggish well my actions determine if i'm a bully or if i'm not if i hurt your feelings then i'm a bully if not then i'm just looking thuggish simple right but why is it then that bullying still persists in our society it's because sometimes the person you least expect to be a bully would actually be one For example, the person that is the most friendly to you, the most innocent looking, maybe even perfect, could actually be the most venomous bully behind your back. And it is because we don't recognize his or her actions and we don't try to suppress them. So, how do we eliminate bullying in a society then? We need to recognize we need to acknowledge that there is an inner bully in all of us who i believe does that mean streak in all of us that makes us want to be a little someone so that we can prove to be much much better than that person who i believe that's a hideous side of us that makes us want to broadcast their mistakes to a group of people so as to publicly humiliate them Oh I believe it just that the insensitive side of us that makes us want to post an uncatering picture of our friends on Facebook and just to publicly humiliate them online but is that right is that morally right to make matters more worse nowadays we have very easy access to the internet and to the social media so it is very easy for us to mask our malicious intentions behind fake identities and fake personalities by posting a rude comment and leaving a smiley emoji next to it and voila you have the birth of the cyber bully so my friends are we lost to bullying are we lost to the inner bully in all of us no oh i believe if we can check our motives if we can think what consequences our actions can cause if we can put up ourselves in the shoes of the victim then we can stand up to the inner bullies in all of us so my friends let us stand up to the inner bullies in all of us and remember by blowing out someone else's candle does not make yours shine brighter thank you